What is going on guys, it's Clutch Guando here, and I'm bringing you guys a little bit of Gears of War Ultimate Edition gameplay today. I think I went 14-5 and 5 this game, 15-5, and 5. I, I honestly don't know, it's been a while since I watched this gameplay, but uh, I think I had a couple nice shots with the sniper, and I'm pretty sure I went off, so look forward to that. <laughs> um, I decided to make a, a commentary today, um, because it's been a while since I've uploaded a video or made any content for that matter. I think it's been, I don't know, I think like 4 years since I made Gears of War video and I think two years since I've uploaded a video at all, so it's 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 definitely been a long time for sure. I, I kind of just dropped off the face of the earth, pretty much, honestly, as far as YouTube goes. But I just thought it'd be fun to bring back an old hobby of mine, uh, an old hobby of mine that started in high school, actually. I realize now that it's definitely fun just to kind of reminisce on what you used to do and bring back old hobbies, as I'm doing right now, and it's uh, it's kind of refreshing, to be honest. Um, I just kind of want to update you guys on what I'm doing with my life, though. Uh, so, as of right now, I'm a sophomore in college, and I'm studying computer science and minoring in electrical engineering. And I guess I could talk a little bit about why I chose my major and minor. Uh, first off, I chose my major just because, um, I don't know, I, I really think that building software is awesome. There's so much that you can do with, with software development and software engineering that it just kind of blows my mind, honestly. So my freshman year, or first semester of freshman year, I took a computer science class, and that was my first computer science class ever, and we started off learning the C programming language. And the first day there, we learned how to print text to the screen, and I was just amazed. I was just, I was, my mind was just blown. I just, it was just crazy that you could, you could write words in a computer program or an integrated development environment and tell your computer what to do. That was just amazing to me. And as much as I loved it, I actually did struggle a lot. For those of you who have started off or who have um, done programming before, you know that it's it's really hard to start off. I mean, for some people, I guess it just clicks, but for me, it, it kind of took a while on a lot of things, especially like pointers, arrays, just kind of learning the basics of the language. It was, it was a struggle for me, actually. And as a result of not putting in enough time or effort, I ended up with a B in the class, I believe. And... It's funny because the lab final, we had to write a program that did a certain a certain thing. I think it was file processing, and that was the one thing that I didn't study for. So that just I completely bombed that test, and I ended up with I went from an A to a B. But uh, I'm a I'm a sophomore now. I'm in my first semester. It's about to end. This is actually dead week. Next week is finals week. I actually have a final tomorrow at 7 a.m. So that <laughs> that should be pretty fun for physics. God, I'm gonna get God. That final's gonna wreck me, but. Uh, um, God, where was I? Oh, oh yeah, I'm in my second computer science class, and I honestly love what I do. I'm doing a lot better. I'm studying a lot more, putting in the effort. I'm going to my teacher's office hours when I need it, and you know, my my teacher's really great about helping you when you need it. He doesn't he doesn't make you feel bad if you don't understand the material. He's he's just there for you, and he he wants all the students to be successful. And thanks to him, I actually landed an internship last summer at Microsoft which is honestly an unforgettable experience. And I can talk a little bit more about that uh, in a different video, if you guys like. You just gotta let me know. There are certain things that I obviously can't say just because of uh, NDA, non-disclosure agreement, but I can definitely speak a little bit about what I did and what my experience was like. But uh, just to move on to talking about why I chose my minor. I chose my minor just because, uh, actually I, I just added my minor, but it was because I decided to participate in a hardware hackathon, which is basically where you were given materials and you had to build some sort of hardware application with those materials that fit a certain theme. And the theme this year was Internet of Things. If you don't know what the Inter Internet of Things is, you can definitely go on Google and look it up. Um, but long story short, it's just different technologies communicating with each other. So. <laughs> It's funny because I had no idea. I don't know anything about hardware, so I struggled a lot. I spent, it was a 24 hour event. I spent like five hours trying to integrate code from someone, like someone, a source. Um, oh God, what the hell am I saying? Uh, <laughs> trying to integrate code that I found online to code that I wrote. So it was, <laughs> I don't know, it was really difficult. So I ended up with, I didn't even fit the theme. I ended up with a lamp that that has LEDs inside and, and I coded the colors of those LEDs changing in a certain pattern. So I mean, I guess it was pretty cool <laughs> considering I didn't know anything about hardware, but the problem that I was having was I wasn't able to connect it to the internet, I guess. And that was the code that I found online was 
how to connect the specific hardware to the internet. That way I could control the lights via the internet. And I had a lot of trouble with that. And um, long story short, I didn't fit the theme. I kind of got wrecked, probably came in last place. I don't really know. But <laughs> that's why I chose my minor. I just think that if you're a computer science major, being able to manipulate software and build software is really important. It's really important to understand how hardware works as well. It's really important to understand how hardware and software work together to meet a common goal. And I think that um, it would definitely suit me for sure. Even though I want to end up at Microsoft, I think having that knowledge would just be helpful, especially if I want to do something like, let's say, program lights to uh, sync to music. I think that would be pretty awesome. But but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I'm doing right now. It's uh, it's honestly awesome. Uh, college is very hard. Let me tell you, I am taking 16 credits right now with one lab of physics lab, as a matter of fact. And physics is honestly don't take physics, dude. It's really hard. I'm taking physics 202, which is calculus based physics, and I am getting absolutely destroyed. I'm getting absolutely destroyed, and it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, like, I honestly have a mental breakdown pretty much every day after class. It's it's pretty bad. Wow, where did that guy come from? He's a ninja. Wow. <laughs> Alright, going off on tangents, but... But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, computer science is awesome. I actually got done finishing my last computer science project. We made a game called Hexplode. If you don't know what Hexplode is, go into Google, type in Hexplode and play the game. So basically my team and I, we made a... We basically made Hexplode, our, but our own version. It, was, it honestly came out awesome. And, and we had a game day in my computer science class where everybody went around and, and played each other's games. So that was, that was honestly awesome. Uh, it was a great experience, and I thought it was a lot of fun seeing what everyone else made. Someone made, actually, it was kind of like, God, what was it? It was kind of like Flappy Bird, but <laughs> instead of bird, and instead of you know jumping between pillars or whatever, you, he was shooting the game. The objective was to get my computer science teacher's head through the pipes, or through pipes that were moving, and they were like Mario pipes, you know, the green pipes in, in the Mario games. They were moving up and down on the, both the top and bottom of the screen, so <laughs> the objective was to try to shoot his head through those pipes and get to the other side. And on the other side was my t computer science teacher's head, but it was split in half, and his mouth was kind of like opening. I don't know if you can... It's kind of like a Pac-Man mouth. That's kind of what it looked like, but it's kind of hard to describe, but it was really hilarious. And then when he failed, it was my computer science teacher's laugh. It was <laughs> it was honestly maniacal, and he kind of... Wow, that guy almost got Spider-Man, but it was kind of like demeaning. Every time you lost, you're like, wow, I'm haunting myself right now. But um, So yeah, that's what I'm doing in school. And I kind of want to move on to something else, like uh, just asking if anyone's willing to add me and maybe play some Gears of War. I don't know. I don't play very often now because I have so much, so much stuff. Oh my God, that was nasty. Uh, I have so much stuff going on um, as far as school goes, so it's kind of hard to find time to play. But when I do, I, I go off. I go off. Trust me. But uh, definitely looking for people to play. And um, if you want to, just leave a comment below. That'd be awesome. One last question. I just want to know what kind of things you guys would want to see in the future. And I'm definitely looking forward to, or I'm definitely want to buy a, a high definition capture device. That way I can make more commentaries and I don't have to record my damn gameplays on Xbox because that's annoying. Um, like I'm doing right now. I'm actually, I'm actually doing this commentary on the upload studio on the Xbox One. So, you know, it's cool. You know, perks of not having a uh, capture device. So that's pretty awesome. But... Just tell me what you guys want to see. You guys want to see more commentaries? You guys want to see a montage? Tell me what kind of what what like what's the best software for editing? Tell me uh, what kind of capture device I should get. I don't know anything. Honestly, anything because I'm I'm definitely looking forward to getting back into YouTube and and bringing back an old hobby. Honestly, because I I honestly love this and um. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about my life or any questions about anything I mentioned in the video, just just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and so I think I'm just going to let the rest of the gameplay play out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.